is all starting to look pretty good here. Now I'm also I also have a couple of uh, strips that we're going to lay over the edges right here and trim trim this thing up here, uh, and that way it cleans up the edges a little bit. And one of the things I like to do whenever I go monocoat over monocoat, um, I try to buy econo coat for trim like this. Uh, the Econo Coat has a slightly lower temperature than the Monocoat and it allows it to uh, adhere to the surface without having to um, really heat it up at high temperature and mess it all up. Now one of the easiest ways to separate the backing from that is just by using some scotch tape and taping it together just like I did right there, what you saw, and you just pull it right across and that gets rid that piece and I hold on to the tape on this side so that I always know which side should be down and I'm going to lay this right on down here and even it just overlap it even across there uh, it's nothing super critical and because I'm using econo coat I'm going to turn my iron down to just a little bit over 200 and, um, and I'm just going to sort of work this on around couple times and again I don't want the econo coat to shrink too much I want it to lay down and activate the glue but I don't want too much heat on here because if you start getting too much heat on here um, you start creating air bubbles and then once you create the air bubbles I see a little gap there so I'm going to try to heat that down a little bit uh, once you create the air bubbles then you're, you have a little bit of a problem now. If you do get air bubbles, all you have to do is just pop a little hole in the center and uh, go ahead and just uh, probably should concentrate on this. And then again, you see how easy that is to pull that stuff off. I don't know if you ever fought with the backing, but uh, once you lose that clear plastic edge, it is kind of tough. But um, So again, I just want to lay this down so that they're parallel. And you can, if, if you want to, you can uh, go ahead and measure between here and there. I sort of eyeball it because I figure that if it looks good to me, it's going to look good to everybody else. And again, this is on the bottom. And I just work from one end to the other. And I sort of want to pull this so that it lays down nice and flat here. And it stays. Now, if you go thinner, then you know these, this is about this is about a half inch right here. Uh, if you, if you go thinner than a half inch, uh, I would recommend using um, like car trim, the trim that they use on the cars, uh, because when you get to a, a much smaller piece, it's kind of hard to control. And I would come over to the back side now finish this up and again I want to roll this on over and let me get this down a little bit so you can see that roll this on over just to make sure they get a nice clean edge here and I'm gonna use my razor tool again does make a tool that's perfect for this, um, their trimming tool, and uh, you might want to look into that if you, if you like it. It's about six bucks. It works really well. Um, I've just always used the razor blade on a popsicle stick, so I sort of get used to that. It's kind of tough to teach an old dog new tricks. And that's all that you need to do. And you can see that we have this. I'll probably you know touch it up with an iron a little bit, tiny bit hotter than that. But you see that I have some nice solid um, yellow lines with black stripes here, and that's going to really show up uh, in the sky. And like I said, you can always go back and touch up stuff, and I'm just making sure that this seals down. I see a slight little bolt there, and I want to make sure it's got good solid contact. And if you want, after you get done doing something like this, you can go back with. Uh, the monocoat solvent and that sort of 
Uh, we'll seal up any edges that you miss with your iron, but it looks like we got it down pretty good, so I'm not going to worry about that. Simple little way to do that. Easy to do. And uh, just another technique for you to use while you're monocoating your plane. And like I said before, if you get a chance, try uh, ready to cover planes. They're fantastic.